Hello everyone. Oh my goodness, how I wish I could be with you. It, uh, that's one of the sad things in my life these days is that uh, I can no longer uh, join you physically at the events. It was so wonderful in those many past years. And, uh, I, but I have all the fond memories. And so this is the next best thing. Um, as we all know, there is so much going on now, ups and downs, and where well, we really are, we really are in the middle of some dynamic changes. That, and why are we surprised? We've been told, we know it, but, uh, but then when we get, begin to experience it, it's a whole different story. And so um, you're hearing about all the ascension symptoms and the uh, solar, solar flares, and uh, all, all of the different phenomena that's so always so unusual. And uh, I know each of us are on our own journey uh, at, at our own level in our own hologram, progressing where, and it is where we were meant to be. Uh, it's all a part of the journey. And we each have what you might say, our puzzle piece, or our hologram, which fits into the whole. And we are ascending together. We are all, uh, we've talked about it before, that it is a mass ascension of humanity. And everybody is going to a level where they will begin uh, in that spectrum of light and shadow, balanced and harmonized. So they will, there will not be the chaos and all of the negativity that we have now. And so what I want to share with you briefly is just a little bit about what's happening with me. Uh, and like I say, uh, this is, whatever is happening to you may not be the same. It's unique for each person, but there are some things that are the same. Uh, for we all have to go through the different levels, but but uh, there's a commonality there with also the unique aspects of where you are, what your divine blueprint is, what you came for, and so, but anyway, um, I just want to give you an idea of how dramatic and the changes that have taken place with our group, with our Starseed group, with the Wayshore group, the Light Station 12 group, it's just amazing the the miracles, the serendipity, dipitous events, uh, and are just happening every day. And uh, our telepathic skills are becoming so much stronger. And it, it's we 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 laugh about it because it's still exciting. And and we have to acknowledge the little miracles, and and trust that they're there and not be doubting, like we say, a, a doubting Thomas whatever, whatever, wherever that came from. We have to honor them and begin to believe, be willing to believe that there are miracles available for all of us and that we are progressing if we just stay centered in our heart center with an overlay of, 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 of tolerance and of objectivity uh, as so that we're able to bring in more and more and more divine love light to radiate it out to humanity and to the earth. So just this last last month, um, I, uh, Michael has always, for years, woke me up between three and four o'clock with the downloads until finally I got to the point where I was in his org field and it changed. But there have been four occasions now where uh, uh, the Cosmic Council of Light, which is over our divine blueprint, the Earth, our solar system, and so on, have come to me. And each time that happened, I had an experience when I was meditating and I began to shake violently, very violently, my head, all my body just shaking all over. Uh, it was kind of uncomfortable, but didn't hurt, uh, but just, uh, really quite powerful, but I just kept getting, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. I don't know how long it lasted, but I would say it lasted at least a minute. And so then immediately I began to get downloads. Well, this download, I was sitting in my dressing room in early in the morning, and I had this experience where uh, it was a little different because my arms went out like this, and I uh, it was, like the energy poured through, and then they went up this way, 
and more or less like that. And it was the Lady Faith that came through. And she said, um, as I have told you in the past, uh, I, I had asked one time, why is Archangel Michael so prevalent and, and speaks to me, but, but you don't? And she says, beloved, I have been your guardian overseer for many, many lifetimes and uh, with the love and compassion. But now it was time for you to take the divine will and power, the strength and dynamic energy of my beloved. She said, but, and I always envisioned her standing over my left shoulder and Michael at my right. And all of a sudden it seemed I felt this energy become, begin to move together and come right to the back portal of my heart. And she said, we only seem as though we're separate, just like the mother for the God, <clears throat> that Vesica Pisces sign where we are separated. Actually, we are one unified consciousness, but with the two aspects of masculine and feminine, just like you have within your brain structure, the right and left structure of your brain. And so we are now unified within you. We are standing together, harmonious, because you have integrated and balanced and harmonized both the right and left hemispheres of your brain and your sacred heart is unified and you have um, balanced and harmonized all of the chakra system and that rod of power is active now so now we can appear to you again unified for when we move up into the fifth dimension we all are within our unity consciousness there is there not no longer that sense of duality and so that was one event and then uh, twice more that's happened uh, with the cosmic council of light and i have begun to get some wonderful, wonderful information, which at this time I am sharing uh, only with our light station group. We will be sharing it with, 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 the, uh, with others, but at this time it, it is going into a pyramid of light in which uh, this, all of this new information is at a higher level. It's at our first sacred triad level in the fifth dimension. And so it will be coming forth in the future. But these, the, these like the rod of power, that the, the, um, the fire, the fire, the, the heat, uh, even maybe some vibrations, the, your, um, your, I have had a lot of intense uh, uh, problems with, uh, with uh, my skin and so on. I had some uh, uh, really um, very bad rippling uh, pains or, or uh, like burning energy for several months and so on. And uh, anyway, that is gone. Uh, but all of those symptoms that are coming are for a reason. And so I just wanted to share this with you that um, uh, and Mark, Archangel Michael will give you more of an explanation, but you're not doing anything wrong. You're, it's because you're doing everything right. And we're told that in the physical muscle, the older it is, the more uncomfortable it can be because this has never been done before. In a way, we are beginning our ascension in the physical muscle. And that, that is a magical thing. Uh, because humanity, not that many over the ages, uh, not that many humans have actually <clears throat> experienced a physical ascension. And so know that I am with you. Uh, join us in our, our sacred triad pyramid and uh, give me a moment and I'll bring in our beloved Archangel Michael. 